You know when you start something and you tell everybody you're going to do it and then it's, I don't know, 12 days into it at this point, you're losing track of time and you don't want to do it anymore. That is exactly what's happening with 30 days of video. Not that I don't want to do it, just that I think, what on earth do I have left to say? And then I remember that I just want to chat with you. I just want to tell you the kinds of things that I think about when I think about you and when I think about the faces of my followers, my viewers, my friends, those of you who are commenting and sharing and liking this content. I really appreciate you. So this week I have had a whole lot of incredible opportunities with my team to do things that we've never done before. Chief among them, first and foremost, is creating an experience for a client and their entire team of employees, team members, um, salespeople in all different departments, HR, operation. We have been working on an internal virtual conference that really focuses on this concept and idea of innovation, something that is about making new things, moving things forward, reshaping and reconfiguring innovative ways of solving problems and meeting people's needs. And isn't that exactly what we all need? Don't we just need a little bit of an innovative approach to our lives, to the problems that we're facing, to the vision and the ideas that we're having, isn't it that we just need a little bit of a boost, um, almost like a vote of a confidence that this is going to be okay. We're gonna work this out. So in working with clients on their innovations and pro problem solving for their teams, one of the things that I notice is that it is energizing. It is injecting a boost of something really creative and fun into everyone's spirit and ideas. There was a certain buzz this whole week leading up to the conference, um, leaving the conference, and I can't wait to see what this weekend is going to do for everyone as we are um, kind of processing and thinking about what else is possible. The most important thing about learning is what happens the days after you've learned something, because that is when your brain really kind of cements things in. You begin to apply your own knowledge to the concepts you've heard and learned about, and then you begin to think about, how do I want to apply this to my life, to my business, to my relationships, what have you. In this innovative conference, we talked a lot about the power of relationships how people who are in life with each other and in business with each other um, form bonds, form relationships. And the stronger that relationship is, the more complex it is and the, the deeper it runs and the more it resonates. And I think about business people who are intentional about creating relationships that are mutually beneficial. And that means that we spend time getting to know one another, getting to know our strengths, our reasons why we're in business, our passions. Um, and this idea that you are working in business with a passion and that that passion is about what you do is really interesting to me because I think most of us work because we desire to see an impact. And so what we do is less interesting to us than why we do it. So in deep, intimate, deeply connected relationships, professionally, um, we figure out why somebody does what they do and we figure out what their needs are. And then we try to meet those. And good professionals, no matter what their background is or what their industry is, understand that that is sort of like the secret 
to success, relationships, knowing why you do what you do, being able to listen to the person, the somebody else's reason why they do what they do, understanding their needs and meeting them. I learned an interesting thing today about the word listen. Um, the word listen and the word silent has the same letters in them. So listening is about being able to be silent and being able to hear somebody out, asking them, what do you need? How can I help you meet that need? How innovative is that? It's not necessarily the newest thing on the planet, but it's a really innovative way, a new kind of spin on getting to know people and spending the time to really meet their needs. What would the business look like if we did that? Think about that this weekend. I'm going to think about that this weekend because I think that um, there's a certain timelessness about that approach, a certain, a certain way of hardening back to where we see each other, where people matter, where mutuality matters, and taking each other at our word because we spent enough time being silent to listen to the words that come out of the other person's mouth. And then we think about it. And then we really intentionally act on doing what we can to meet each other's needs. I think that business is a force for good and um, can be because I think that human beings are innovative and creative and, and inherently meant to be kind to one another and do good for one another. And so when we can do that in business, it makes everything better. Hey, thank you for listening. I appreciate you. And um, it's really late here in my office. I'm gonna wrap it up. But um, I'm so excited that I decided to do this uh, for 30 days in September because um, I'm learning so much about voice and the power of listening and the power, even as I'm speaking to you, um, and the power of intentionally bringing content to you that I think is valuable because at some point, someone taught me the things that I'm telling you about and they used to be, they, they were beneficial to me. So I hope that these things are beneficial to you too. I appreciate you. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for liking. Thank you, thank you, thank you.